Reuters was completely accurate that I am concerned about the level of the market. But I also made it clear on the conference call, and I believe as Reuters reported it, that it is almost impossible to predict what a market will do in the short. We have bloated bureaucracies in corporate America. The root of the problem is the absence of real corporate democracy. With some exceptions, the wrong people are running U.S. companies. It's been that way for years, and it hasn't gotten much better. Too often it's not the most creative guys or the smartest. Instead, it's the ones who are best at playing politics and soft-soaping their bosses. Boards don't like duff, abrasive guys. I have to look out for the shareholders' interests, and I'm the largest shareholder. And I'm convinced, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you can work with the unions because the unions want to survive. If they are confronted simply with the question, do you want this company to survive or do you want it to be broken up? They will. My wife watches me like a hawk. In life and business, there are two cardinal sins. The first is to act precipitously without thought, and the second is to not act at all. Unfortunately the board of directors and top management of Times Warner already committed the first sin by. I'm no Robin Hood, I enjoy making the money. I'm a cynic about corporate democracy and boards. Had a nice conversation with Tim Cook today. Discussed my opinion that a larger buyback should be done now. We plan to speak again shortly. Yellen's comments suggest, and I agree, that we are in an asset bubble. We are not about liquidating companies, but if you do that, why is that terrible? We are not blowing up the factories. The person who buys it should be able to make the asset more productive. Anyone that makes me a quarter of a billion dollars, I like. I believe there are and will be major opportunities to enhance Time Warner's value in future combinations. Quotes famous. Thank you for watching.